everyone. So you have a autographed jersey that you want to frame. Uh, you, it's actually surprisingly not very hard to do. Uh, just needs a little time, roughly about an hour or so. Uh, and you just need the right kit. So the kit what we have here is from Mess Up Display. It's uh, what they call a extra large jersey frame. What you, you come with is the frame itself. You get to choose colors. Uh, there are four colors to choose from. Oak, walnut, cherry, and black. This here, what we got is a cherry. So the material that's made from it is natural beech wood. So it's a very good solid hardwood. And what other on top of that, um, what you do can pick is the uh, background. This is what they call the felt background. It allows for attaching, securing the jersey, and you use uh, basically uh, pins. What you can see here is uh, it's a double mat. So these are those photo mats. Uh, you can customize the layout. Uh, since we have two 8x10 photos, we chose two 8x10s. There's about 12 layouts to choose from, I believe. You can do just single photo, you can do no photo. Uh, in addition to photo cutouts, you can do um, uh, plates, uh, basically engraved plates. Uh, you can even get engraved plates from us here. Uh, the color we chose is the top. We got navy blue and then the bottom a red. That kind of goes with the team colors. And the other thing it comes with, you will need is actually this uh, photo mat board. So it's uh, 30 by 42. You're gonna use this to make a cutout of the jersey and use it and insert inside. And it's gonna help with uh, securing and uh, laying out the jersey much easier with this uh, simple mat board. It will come with this uh, instruction. Just to kind of show you visually the back. So it's basically an MDF board. It has uh, quite a few metal clips to be exact and that secures the back in place. The tabs just kind of swivel and then uh, you can take it off once you unlatch everything. The backing is what makes these uh, kit easy to uh, to mount the jersey is because uh, it has this rubber material underneath the felt. It does come the, by default black, but you do have the option to choose either white or red. As you can see, we have a nice autograph uh, Tom Brady uh, football jersey. So, um, you know, when you're framing jerseys, you know, depending on the type of jersey, you might want to either go vertically you know or horizontally so ideally when you do a football you want to actually do it a little wider so you're gonna have this frame display horizontally instead of say a basketball where you might tend to do it vertically you have the number showing the autograph the name of the player have a little bit of space between the collar and the the top here later so and a lot of times what you do with football jersey is you you know, you fan out the sleeves, so it's gonna be something like this. Obviously, this is very wrinkly looking and it's just not ideal. So that's where that mad board comes into play. The first thing what we're gonna do is create an insert with that mad board to go inside the jersey. It's gonna stretch out the jersey uh, nicely. It's gonna allow you to pin it uh, down to the, uh, the back in here a lot easier. So the first step is actually to take a good measurement of the jersey. Uh, we're only going to need two uh, numbers here. So we need the width of the jersey and the height of the jersey. Uh, I see under the, uh, the sleeve here, it's about 23 and a half. Now you want it to stretch out and be nice and tight, okay? So to do that, what you do is uh, add about an inch. So I'm just gonna give exactly an inch to the width. So instead of making it 23 and a half, I'll make it 24 and a half. Envision it being two inches right where that the border comes down. So you gonna take out two inches up there and being 20. So you really the max of the height is gonna be 26 for this jersey. Now that we have the number 26, high 24 and a half wide. Good thing I had pre-cut this. So I'm just gonna show you what we end up with there. Uh, you got the 24 and a half wide, and then you got this uh, being uh, 26 tall. Okay, so uh, this will set aside. You're gonna need to uh, keep that in use for the sleeves. Okay, we'll do the same 
a thing for the sleeves create a couple inserts later so what we're gonna try to do is uh, basically get the uh, top here okay so okay so once it's center what you want to do is just with a pen uh, reference where you know you're gonna create that cut out here so the top here uh, and then gonna have it right here okay we we'll just use a straight edge and then we'll just you know create a line here that's what we're gonna cut out there okay so we can use a pair of scissors just cut this out we'll do the same here and basically you mark it and cut it out same thing one thing you notice is the color this part is showing out you're gonna have to make a reference of it and create another cutout okay so as you can see uh, I got this cut, cut out basically more in the shape of the uh, jersey to be fitted inside so uh, I got the shoulder kind of aligned in with this um, Reference the color and then took out some of it so you're not gonna see the uh, you know the mat bar showing through the color uh, so uh, This is you know you just kind of make a general shape of the uh, jersey to go inside so now that we have this here what we can do is just uh, test fit it So obviously the bottom is going to tuck in later and the next thing you got to do is create that get the measurement for the uh, sleeve and that's going to be creating a couple of inserts with the, the remainder of the mat. Uh, if you can, you want to fan it like this because then it shows a little bit more detail. It's a little bit harder to do but uh, uh, definitely worth the time. Uh, there are going to be three measurements you need. You need to width of the, uh, the sleeve here. So I got about eight and a half, okay? And then you want the overall height of it. So this is about 11 here. So, uh, you know, 11 is good enough, so. And then the other thing you wanna do is take the height from where this angle uh, comes down to this here. So, uh, so it's about five. I'm back with the cutout. So basically you need to just create one and then you know, use it, uh, use it as a template, create the other side. So we got a couple of these here and they're basically gonna insert into here. And if you need to iron anything, this is probably a good time to do it. I'll just put it on really low. If you need to iron it, what you want to do is instead of direct contact with the jersey, you use a piece of paper. Like for instance, if I'm ironing here, I can just kind of put it over and then just kind of iron it out a little bit. Now that we have the jersey ready, so the next step is to secure it to the backing. So you want to position the jersey and make sure things are centered. So, yep, so this is looking pretty good. Now, you don't need the sleeves in here. You're going to have to put it back in later have to secure it down first so okay so the first area you want to secure is actually the top collar here you're just gonna need about three pins I'm gonna flip this back a little bit and right here in the center I'm gonna put a pin there I'm using this just to help me push makes it a little easier so now you want to have the pin going into the jersey like toward the center it will work at about um, about 10 degree angle because uh, you know that rubber material isn't terribly very thick so you want to be able to just hit the rubber material without having to force it to go through the backing and then you want to get the top corner here so another one up here that's gonna secure the top there so okay so what you want to do is uh, fold into the sleeve here so you're gonna put also another three pins with uh, each of the sleeves here so you can do it from the top down same thing basically you're really just doing it in an angle i'm just going to keep that there while you're doing this you know just kind of make a little adjustments as you need so this is pinning the backing you know, that uh, mat board so you that will kind of press on the jersey and keep it in there so you, you're not you're not seeing any of the pins either, so. 
I'm going to just need three more on the other side here. Okay, so we got that secure. As you can see, this is in there. Stretch out the jersey, make it a little bit more adjustment if you need to. And you want to tuck in the bottom, okay? And I'm going to use the ruler, just kind of push things in. You want to do is secure the, you know, going down here. So I'm going to add one on the side here. Uh, you just need to catch the backboard. So this jersey has perforated, you know, vents on, on some of the material. So I'm going to just put one right between, kind of right through that. So in, once you have it, it has it all the way down. And then you can kind of just move it to cover it up so you don't actually see the, the pin here. You can do that. I mean, if it doesn't have to perforate a hose, what you can do is just, hit, you know, hit the side and then just get the uh, uh, mat board. There you go. So you don't see the pin there. Now this bottom, there's two inch of uh, area where it's going to be covered by the mat board. So you can freely pin and have a little bit shown and it wouldn't really matter that much. So the bottom, you just need about four pins also at the bottom to secure things in place. Okay, so you want to do the same thing with the sleeve here. So we're going to put that insert back in. You're just going to need about three pins also. So what we can do is uh, kind of use the ruler again, straight as to help push some of that extra material in to make it nice and smooth. You can position this first before you pin it down. So you want to take, I want to take a measurement here. Okay, so now that you make, make sure everything is centered, so we're gonna do one side first. Okay, so we're just gonna push one in here in the middle, keep it in place there. So I'm gonna use three, cause I want the sleeve to not go anywhere. So I'm gonna do another one on the edge here and another one on this side, okay, so. All right, so we'll do the same on this side. touch up so to kind of keep this sleeves from I guess a uh, little bunching out there a little bit so I'm gonna at that corner put one on each side okay so jersey is secured down in the, the back in here all right, so the next thing we want to do is uh, uh, put the uh, double matted board here. And let me show you. So the folder is going to go down into these uh, cutouts here. What I'm going to do is flip the matted board over here, and then we're going to attach the folder. And you want to position the folder where it gives you the best, uh, I guess, whatever is important displayed. So I want to make sure his head is fully shown. So I'm going to just have it down a little bit. Okay, so uh, just use a little masking tape. This is just a uh, Scotch uh, 3M masking tape. Take another peek. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so um, if you notice, I have a couple boards here, okay? so. This is the same material that was from that extra board um, that we cut from the, um, the insert. So you want to use it as a backing to kind of secure the photo there without having directly tape the photo too much. And this also keeps it nice and flat. Okay, so since the photo is 8 by 10, I cut these uh, 9 by uh, 11. So it's just a little bit larger than the photo. So this is 
this is pretty much almost ready to uh, go. Uh, so you want to clean it up. We have an air compressor, so I'm going to use that. Okay, now that we got everything cleaned up, we're almost ready to put the cover on. But uh, before we do that, there's actually one more step. This is optional, but we, you know, do this here. So I bought back some um, polyurethane foam. Basically, these are the same things you find in like packaging material they use for padding and things like that. They come in sheets. You can get something similar um, from a craft shop. This isn't included with the uh, kit because it's just something that's fairly common. Uh, when you put the uh, double mat on, it's gonna, some part of it is gonna be on top of that. So as you notice on the, the top edges, there isn't, it's not hitting any part of the jersey. So it kinda sinks down a little bit there. So you wanna add a little spacer between that. Okay, so that's gonna give you the same level evenness. So, to create that spacer, we're really just using the um, the polyurethane foam. So it's basically going to go, you know, you've got a piece that's going to go across here and then a couple of pieces on the edge. So it's just as simple as that. Uh, we're just for creating this spacer here. And to attach that, we just use a hot glue gun. So it's a lot more even because it creates that spacer between the backboard. We're really just down to the, the the major final step here. Okay, now that I bought back the uh, frame cover here, um, also want to point out you need to uh, should have done this uh, ahead of time. Make sure everything is clean. So do a really thorough cleaning of the uh, the uh, cover here. These are made out of acrylic, so, uh, you know, a lot of people mistaken acrylic to being like cheap plastic, but the truth is these material are about six, seven times more expensive than standard glass. So the one of the major benefit of uh, the acrylic is the uh, UV quality. So that's going to keep your item from fading. Uh, these are UV acrylic, so they're fairly expensive uh, and they don't break as easily. What you can use is a acrylic cleaner. Uh, these can be found at any automotive store. Uh, they're doing really well on acrylic and also they actually remove minor scratches. So if you have, you know, little minor scratches and when you clean it, it kind of just polishes it so it keeps it nice and clean. So what you gotta do is just put it over, um, uh, just kind of position it and then the, um, the little tabs on the back, you can swivel it just so it you know, kind of uh, keeps it in place. All right now, then you can flip it over and then uh, do any major adjustments, okay? So, okay, I got mine in there. Uh, you wanna do the rest of the tab. Just use a screwdriver. A Phillips screwdriver and just tighten it back. Okay, so since you're done with everything You don't need to open it. So just kind of keep it tight there So I got everything tight I forgot to mention make sure you do you know the hangers already installed So when you put this on make sure you're putting the top part to the part part otherwise you gotta take it off again or redo the the hanger so but one other thing you can do um, it's optional is you know now that everything is perfectly done you can seal this okay so you can use the same uh, masking tape just kind of seal the, the gap here and this what we'll do is also keep the uh, tabs in place so you don't really see them they're not showing or moving around or um, you know perhaps scratching your wall and you hang this too so it, Kind of reduces that a little bit so okay so it looks good huh there you have it so um, double mounted uh, 8x10 photo um, autograph um, Tom Brady uh, football jersey <laughs>